This is Artifacts of Mars with your morning update. CBS has refused to air ads for a movie called The Truth on its network. Sony is going to pay him big money to do it. CBS has refused to run advertising for The Truth. A film starring Kate Blanchett and Robert Redford that revisits, revisits a painful episode in the nation's the network's past involving a discredited 2004 news story on former President George W. Bush's military service record. In other words, they lied. See, they did a hit piece concerning his uh, service in Texas Air National Guard, and it turns out it was BS. Now... This movie is coming out, and CBS is pissed. Because they don't like people saying they, telling the truth that they lied. Redford plays Dan Rather in The Truth, with Blanchett as producer Mary Mapes. Together, they're behind a 60 Minutes 2 story that questioned Bush's war era commitment to service in the Texas Air National Guard, but CBS apologized for the story. I mean, they got caught in the act and they had to retract it. After documents used were called into question could not be verified, MAPES and three news exec executives were fired. Yeah, I would think so. Basically, this is what it comes down to. They don't like public knowing that they're a bunch of liars and uh, completely political. Uh, they can't really stop the movie from coming out. How is CBS going to stop uh, Sony from releasing this? I don't know if they're even going to try. I haven't heard anything that they're going to try, but what they are doing is basically saying... Hey, screw you. We're not promoting this. In a way, you can't blame them. I mean, the liars don't want uh, to be associated with a movie that shows that they're liars. Dan Blather and... Uh, Mary Mapes and all that. Sony Pictures Classics saw a multi-million dollar end for to promote film on Stephen Colbert's late show, CBS Even News, CBS This Morning 60 Minutes, was turned down. Said Sherry Callen, president of Callen Advertising and Company that places ads for Sony. Let's take a look at this link real quick. Because this is just morning update. It's going to be... And here's Dan Blather. Uh, Dan Blather reflects on his dramatic CBS accent that has inspired wound. truth. I have a lot of wounds. I'm tongue-tied this morning. This one, something happened to it, murmurs rather as he rises from an upholstered chair to pick up the statue we squint and the engraved inscription, the Agnew resignation. Well, no wonder, it looks a little droopy, he laughs. You know, I wonder why this asshole wasn't fired. He, uh, obviously... And he goes on and talk about the documents, but he obviously knew that. I mean, come on. Uh, these people are studio-bound uh, jerks who essentially they get Democrats elected. That's what CBS does. <laughs> Not that I have any real love with uh, modern-day Republicans. I don't. 
That's what they do, is they get Democrats elected. That's their function in life. These are not journalists. Interesting note. Interesting note. This headline here says, Dan rather chokes off at Truth premiere praises film for accuracy, and CBS is saying it's inaccurate. Well, there you have it. You know, CBS is not going to air it. In a way, I can't blame them. I mean, liars don't like being called liars, and they don't like the public seeing them as liars. Well, that's what they are, as liars. Utterly, dis <laughs> Utterly funny, in a way. I get over it, I'm sure. <laughs> I don't care much for Sony Pictures after this, I'm sure you of that. Anyway, this is Artifacts Mars. Thanks for watching.